Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're doing the intro inside of the mission. We are on our last leg of Saving Your Disaster campaign, the Grenadier debacle. And all that's left to do is get us a couple of sweet, sweet crates. The more we get, the better we are off. So let's start with uh, taking the high ground wherever possible. On the high road, we're not going to encounter any losses. That in itself is already good. And we're moving in. Very good. Since the high ground is safe, we might as well just continue to move on. The only thing that you need to look out for is <laughs> Don't jump through the open, uh, the closed window, as that will likely trigger, uh, break the concealment, and then start triggering enemies. All right, Bastion over here moves in. Time to motor. Double time. And our heavy moves into the other direction Move into position. right together with our sniper okay <coughs> first things first we want to be sort of in the proximity so that in one blue move we can move to the windows. That way if something goes wrong, uh, we can mobilize our full squad. Careful moving forward. Can't yet get with our grenadier to uh, the window. And it's one more round until we can set this up, and then we have a nice little flanking and a lot of crates down there. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with. Uh oh. Did we trigger? No, we did not. Cool. We've got an enemy squad here. Interesting. Guide my hand. So this here apparently seems to be free. Not sure if this will actually be free, but Apparently we're good to go. Headed there now. Okay, well, good enough. Oh, look at you. Cute. We got an entire enemy squad. Two, to be precise. Well, for me, that screams kill zone. I don't know about you guys. But I think we can do a nice little kill zone play here. Um, let's start with actually creating a rather sizable kill zone. We have death from above, but we do not have salvo yet. So, naturally, I'm wondering. We need, also needed a few more losts. Okay. 
There we go. That should break concealment. And with us uh, being revealed, that also will start our good old kill zone. Two down. Uh, a couple more hits. And the loss will be triggering Overwatch. The Overwatch, on the other hand, will trigger our Ever Vigilant. Which means any action triggers, besides Overwatch itself. <laughs> that is fantastic. All right, comedy gold right here. Fantastic. Overwatch removed. So, 13. What are we dealing with? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. That's not a 100% kill. Um, we're giving ourselves Overwatch, really. Get rid of the Lost. Good, and Death From Above is now fully set up. There is one kill. Shield Bearer really ne needs to be softened up a bit more. There we go. Much better. Good, Spectre theoretically is a go as well, and we're free reloading in order to do that. And then it's rapid fire. Okay, come on, hit him at least once, please. There we go. I wouldn't kill him. I'm on it. But that very possibly will. There we go. Implacable into a better position. And... Look, it's not going to kill him, but... We're slowly but surely getting focus back up. And given that we've just literally obliterated three uh, of their enemy packs, it was a respectable turn and I didn't even need to use all of the abilities. Regeneration, okay, mute to melee, sucks, uh, cannot be overwatch shot, uh, hates explosions, that's good, and hates reapers, that's also good. I appreciate that. That's one of the elders chosen, and it's not gonna make things easy on us. Let's oh no, it will not. It as quickly as possible. Good. Unfortunately, that's lightning reflexes. And 
And that's where the extra swarm is coming from. Lost many of them. Walked right into our kill zone. Fabulous. Okay, we get it. It's it's a huge swarm. We get it. So where is the second package? Okay, right there. Cool. Um, who's our partner? All right. Getting a bit more speed and uh, more focus, of course. Nice little Larian core, I like that. Uh, moving all the way up to here. Cool. Good. Many hit points four. Well, that should be enough to actually get a Reaper kill. There we go. Should be Reaper. Fabulous. A to nine. Two, four, six, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, that is good enough. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Uh, not enough. Two, four, six, eight. <laughs> Damn it. need to fight the rest of the loss I just want to get the brutes down and continue to hit that stupid uh, elite specter there two four six eight nah, still not enough all right Good, that's good enough. So, reload. Was a free reload? Yeah, it was. Got him. Death from above. Soon. 
Ah, that's unfortunate. Not the end of the world, though. Good, we want all of the crates, or as many as we can take, which is why I did that whole maneuver. Ich bin wie eine Gazelle. That whole little shenanigan. Trying to soften them up so that the blade storm of the Reaper kills them. Oh, watch here, just in case. Overwatch over there. Anyhow, uh, reload. I'm looking for you. Damn it! Can he see through the lost? Good. There's the blade storm. And our Templar definitely can stand his own ground here. I think this other guy standing next to him is already dead. Yeah, it's just a graphical glitch. I play on my normal campaigns with the no headshot mechanic and that makes the loss substantially more difficult. Not necessarily with death from above, it would be similar. Similar not the same, uh, because uh, headshot refunds both of your actions. But yeah, that's a complete new mechanic. As you are really starting to struggle against uh, the lost. No Good, that should get us out of uh, the shot. We can grapple back up. End of the turn. Softening this guy up. And you know, I mean, we don't need to push forward. At the moment we're fine, next round new markings will happen. For now we're actually okay. We can grab the other chests. Good, lost us somewhere. I think we've mainly dealt with all of the Advent. Be hard pressed to see how there are many more. Good. Like I said, I'm not going to leave any crates behind this time. Spread in, mark the supplies, 
And off we go. Might as well send someone back to capture these supplies here, but for now we're actually okay. Summons with Maglord, interesting. Second Overwatch? No. Not sure if we kill it. Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. Good. We're healing ourselves. And we need to destroy the cover. And there is only one way of doing that. This might trigger more loss. Yep, there we go. That also deals with, it, with the stupid overwatch. hit him more than once but ah, too bad that's all I needed the one shred good we're moving up a little bit of burning Unfortunately, he's also dodging. That definitely sucks. Marking him and getting rid of the last armor. Should have done that even one turn earlier, that would have resulted in one more damage. This will not deal damage, but it will motivate uh, him to go for the Templar. And we do have Perry here. That's it. All of the loss will focus on him and his two friends. I'll get him next time. 
There is the parry. Interesting that they are completely ignoring the lost. <laughs> even reflected the shot back to him. Fabulous. Unfortunately, he's not bleeding himself. He will need to deal with the loss as well. Unfortunately, he's uh, immune to them. But they are a good uh, diversion. Well, that's solid damage and some falling damage on top of it. Overdriving. We just need to shred one of these guys <laughs> and we run into reload yeah never mind never mind uh, we're going to give our bastion here another overwatch Dealing with some comet protocol on top of it. We have Reaper again. New. Not yet. Okay. the door and let's just start setting all of them up we're going to parry again Good. Implacable back. We cleared that one. Uh, yeah, the Chosen doesn't trigger Overwatch, but we might as well spin up a kill zone here. Maybe some of his shots will nonetheless trigger. Let's try something else. I'm the best there is. These things don't make for much of a challenge. At least you'll be good. 
Well, we're going to see a couple of losses die. But that's okay. Yeah, kill zone is quite potent. Nicely hits him for 12. Lovely. Tell you what, we're just going to mark him and maybe we're even lucky and are going to hit him. Percent hit here. So that's what that feels like. And I think that will finish him. Yep. Sometimes uh, you just gotta use the hundred percent kills. Pickings here. Hostile target down. I'm on it. That might be a kill, or maybe not. Yeah, well, it. It is, and it might even be the end. Cool. Very nice. That's the end of an interesting Saving Your Disaster campaign. Hard for uh, victory. Mr. A can be proud. He made it very far into the campaign and potentially could have done it by himself, but there is no shame in asking for help from time to time. We still have much to learn if we wish to destroy them permanently. Good. Superior conditioning, excellent. Superior expanded magazine, excellent. Lots of stuff, really. Um. Three hit points is actually quite good. I would potentially put it on the healer. That way we're seeing way more way more health overall. What can I do for you, Commander? And in terms of armor. We're getting squad size upgrade. Uh, the max would could get uh, some as well. I mean, sure, serpent armor uh, is great as well, but all of that costs salarium, right? So he has plenty more to upgrade. But I think the uh, worst parts are behind. Uh, 
him. Couple more level two bonds are incoming. Archon King Autopsy is happening. And listen, overall, a damn solid situation. Even got a Larium here. Like, that's a Joker. That will give him maybe 50 ish Elarium and Deloys. That's an absolute uh, jackpot. Gets that, gets uh, South America, and uh, everybody was uh, living uh, happy ever after. I would conclude this as a saved um, campaign. I repeat, if you do have disaster campaigns your own, psychon.place at gmail.com is the name of the game. And uh, see you soon in one of the many XCOM runs. Take care, guys, and have a good one. Bye-bye.